Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Thursday, July 10th, 2014, and we're going to read Enoch, chapter 99, 100, and 101. 99. Woe, woes pronounced to the godless, the lawbreakers, evil plight of sinners in the last days, and further woes. Woe to you who work godlessness, and glory in lion, and extol them. Ye shall perish, and no happy life shall be yours. Woe to them who pervert the word of uprightness, and transgress the eternal law, and transform themselves into what they were not, into sinners. And they shall be trodden underfoot upon the earth. And those days make ready, ye righteous, to raise your prayers as a memorial, and place them as a testimony before the angels, that they may place the sin of the sinners for a memorial before the Most High. <coughs> for in those days the nation shall be stirred up, and the families of the nation shall arise on the day of destruction. And in those days the destitute shall go forth and carry off their children, and they shall abandon them, so that their children shall perish through them. Yea, they shall abandon their children that are still sucklings, and not return to them, and shall have, have, and shall have no pity on their beloved ones. And again I swear to you, ye sinners, that sin is prepared for a day of unceasing bloodshed. And they who worship stones and grave images of gold and silver and wood and stone and clay, and those who worship impure spirits and demons, and all kinds of idols, not according to knowledge, shall get no manner to help from them. And they shall become godless by reason of their follies, of their hearts, and their eyes shall be blind through the fear of their hearts, and through wisdom in their dreams. Through these they shall become godless and fearful. For they shall have wrought in all their work in a lie, and shall have worshipped the stone. Therefore, in an instant, shall they perish, and shall have worshipped a stone. Therefore, in an instant, shall they perish. But in those days, blessed are they who accept the words of wisdom and understand them. And observe the path of the Most High, and walk in the path of His righteousness, and become not godless with the godless, but they shall be saved. Woe to you who spread evil to your neighbors, for you shall be slain in Shiloh. Woe to you who makes deceitful and false measures, and to them who cause bitterness on the earth, for they shall thereby be utterly consumed. Woe to you who build your house through the grievous toils of others, and all their building materials are the bricks and stones of sin. I tell you, ye shall have no peace. Woe to them who reject the measure and eternal heritage of their fathers, and whose souls follow after idols, for they shall have no rest. Woe to them who work unrighteousness and help oppression, and slay their neighbors unto the day of the great judgment. For he shall cast down your glory, and bring affliction on your hearts, and shall arouse his fierce indignation, and destroy you all with the sword, and all the holy and righteous shall remember your sins. Chapter 100 The sinners destroy each other, judgment of the fallen angels, the safety of the righteous, further woes for the sinners. And in those days, in one place, the fathers together with their sons shall be smitten, and the brothers one with another shall fall in death, till the streams flow with their blood. For a man shall not withhold his hand from slaying his sons, and his sons' sons. And the sinner shall not withhold his hand from his honored brother, from dawn till sunset, they shall slay one another. And the horse shall walk up 
to the breast in the blood of the sinners, and the chariot shall be submerged to its height. In those days the angels shall descend into the secret places and gather together with one place all those who brought down sin, and the Most High shall arise on the day of judgment to execute great judgment amongst sinners. And over all the righteous and holy, he will appoint guardians from amongst the holy angels, to guard them as the apple of an eye, until he makes an end of all the wicked, wickedness and all sins. And through the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have not to fear. And though the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have not to fear. And then... The children of the earth shall see the wise in security, in security, and shall understand all the words of this book, and recognize that the riches shall not be able to save them in the overthrown of their sins. And then the children of the earth shall see the wise in security. You know, the wise will be secured and shall understand all the words of this book, and recognize that their riches that they coveted after, that they had to have, shall not be able to save them in their overthrown of their sins. Woe to you, sinners, on the day of strong anguish, ye who afflict the righteous and burn them with fire, ye shall be requited according to the, your works. Woe to you, ye obstinate of heart, who watch in order to devise wickedness. Therefore shall fear come upon you, and there shall be none to help you. Woe to you, ye sinners, on the account of the words of your mouth, and on the account of the deeds of your hand, which your godlessness has wrought. In blazing flames burning woes and fireballs shall ye burn. And now know ye that from the angels he will inquire as your deeds in heaven, from the sun and from the moon, and from the stars, in reference to your sins, because upon the earth ye execute judgment on the righteous. And he will summon to testify against you every cloud, and mist, and dew, and rain. For they all, they shall all be withheld because of you from descending upon you. And they shall be mindful of your sins. And now give presents to the rain, that it be not withheld from descending upon you, nor yet the dew, when it has received gold and silver from you, that it may descend. When the hoarfrost and snow with its chilliness, and all the snow storms with all their plagues fall upon you in those days, ye shall not be able to stand before them. Chapter 101, Exhortation of the Fear of God. All nature fears him, but not the sinners. Observe the heaven, ye children of heaven, and every work of the Most High, and fear ye him, and work no evil in his presence. If he closes the windows of heaven, and withholds the rain and the dew from descending on the earth on your account, what will ye do then? And if he sends his anger upon you because of your deeds, Ye cannot petition him, for ye spake proud and ins insolent words against his righteousness. Therefore ye shall have no peace. And see ye not the sailor of the ships, how their ships are tossed to and fro by the waves, and are shaken by the winds, and are in sore trouble? And therefore do they fear, because all their goodly possessions go upon the sea with them? And they have evil for bondings of their heart, that the sea will swallow them, and they will perish therein. Are not the entire seas, and all its waters, and all its movements, the work of the Most High? And has he not set limits to its doings, and confined it throughout by the sand? And at his reproach it is afraid, and dries up, and all its fishes die and all that is in it. But ye sinners that are on the earth, fear him not. Has he not made the heaven and earth, and all that is therein? Who has given understanding and wisdom to everything that moves on the earth and in the sea? And the last verse for today. Do not the sailors of the ship fear the sea? 
yet sinners fear not the Most High. And that does conclude our reading of Enoch today. We read chapters 99 through 101. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very much. God bless.